At an antiques market a few months ago, I found this. It's an antique die for a game. It's in the shape of a rhombic cuboctahedron, which has uh, 18 uh, square sides and 8 triangular sides. These triangular sides are have no uh, mark on them, so those don't take part in the game, so it's essentially an 18-sided die. Six of the sides have letters on them, and the other sides have the numbers 1 to 12. I did some research, and it turns out that this was probably made in the 1880s, 1890s or early 1900s. It's made of uh, serpentine stone or serpentinite and it was made in Zoblitz in the Erz Mountains in Germany. It's, uh, Zoblitz is uh, very close to the Czech border and that is where they can mine these, uh, yeah, this serpentine stone. There are instructions for the game as well here, and uh, yeah, that's a bit uh, fragile, so I won't take those out. I have instead uh, printed out a copy or scan of those instructions, and it says Gesellschaftsspiel, that's a parlor game or something like that. Mit diesem Würfel können zwei Spiele auf einmal gespielt werden. So it can, you can play two games at the same time. Es werden zwölf Nummern, wie sie der Würfel enthält, auf den Tisch geschrieben. So you, there are, the numbers 1 to 12 are written down on, on a table. So, and uh, so viele Personen nun spielen wollen, müssen die Nummern mit einem festen Einsatz besetzen. So every player has to put in an ante on one of the numbers. It doesn't actually actually say what happens to those numbers that don't get any money put on. So presumably, yeah, you don't have to put, you don't ha need to have money on every number, but that's a bit unclear. Wer ein Nummer wirft, zieht den Darauf stehenden Besatz als Gewinn. So if you throw one of these numbers and there's money on the number, on that number, on that pile on the table, then you can take that and you've won that money. Ist aber den Fall eingetreten, dass ein, eine Nummer schon abgespielt ist und es trifft jemand eine solche, so muss er sie als Strafe wieder besetzen. So if you throw a number that has already been uh, taken by somebody else, so that, that the number on the table is empty, that, then you have to put in another ante on that number. So I'm not sure what happens if you throw a number that hasn't had any money put on at all, so if there are fewer than 12 players, but who knows. And uh, yeah, and then it goes into the explanation of the other the uh, other game, as it were, that belongs to these letters, and that's a so-called put and take game. Uh, put and take games are quite old; uh, they were played in the Middle Ages, um, but they generally used a, a spinning top, a bit like a dreidel. To, to choose one of those uh, six uh, yeah, options. But uh, yeah, so they put these on dice as well, and including this one. Auf die Buchstaben werden er ebenfalls ein besonderer Einsatz auf einen Teller gegeben und nach folgendem Reglement gespielt. So they also have a, a separate pot, separate from those 12 numbers. That's uh, yeah, done on a, a plate. And, uh, yeah, 
you play for the money in that pot using these rules. So if if you uh, uh, if you throw each of these, you have to do whatever's here. Ng that means nim ganz dir kasse. So and that is said at the end as well. That means you take everything, everything that's on the table, all the cash is yours, and you win the game, and the game ends. Nh nim halb die Hälfte vom Teller. Uh, from teller, uh, and yeah, so you take uh, out half of the money on the dish. Nd nim deins deine einsatz, so you take back what uh, you, the the amount of money you put on the dish. Ls das stehen gewinnt we gewinnt weder noch zahlt noch zahlt etwas. So you yeah. That, this is just a, a dummy throw, so if you throw this, your turn is over and it goes to the next person uh, without you doing anything. And es said, uh, setz zu einen Einsatz als Strafe. So you have to put in another amount of money in the in the dish. And uh, TA, treat up bis eines neues Spiel angeht. So here you lose the game and you step, have to step out. Sometimes this is also uh, given trink up, uh, trink auf, so uh, drink, uh, drink your drink, uh, or down your drink. So then it's more of a drinking game as well. And yeah, some of these have uh, alternatives, uh, so, sometimes it's uh, NG is instead uh, NA, nim alles, and uh, sometimes TA is TH, uh, treat her. Auch kann derselbe, wenn die uh, Reihe an ihn kommt, sich wieder einkaufen. So if you lose the game by throwing TA, once the uh, dice comes around to, to your side, once it's your turn again, you can buy yourself back into the game. And here it says, Wer aber NG uh, den Treffer wirft, zieht uh, den ganzen auf dem Teller und auf dem Nummern stehenden Besatz und das Spiel ist aus. So if you throw NG, you get all the cash and the game is ended. So, yeah, there are a few other kinds of rules that you can use. Apparently, this uh, this first game with the numbers, uh, people would also uh, uh, not do all these these twelve separate pots, but uh, yeah, just do a game where people have to uh, reach one hundred uh, before anybody else. So yeah, each number you throw is added to your total, and uh, the first person to reach a hundred uh, wins the game. Uh, or if you uh, throw NG, of course, uh, you win the game uh, prematurely. I, uh, I noticed that this serpentine stone is really rather black. It normally, normally serpentine has some green in it. And uh, yeah, this box is uh, it's a is a little discolored, but uh, here on the this edge that's normally covered by the the lid, you can still see some some green. Basically, serpentine stone normally looks a bit like this, with uh, black with some green uh, bits in it. Uh, yeah, some of these dice have been attributed to Roman times, but that's obviously false. They were first made probably in the 17th century, late 17th century, 18th century. But uh, yeah, this one is late uh, 19th century. Uh, these are much, uh, yeah, much nicer. The earlier ones are, are more hand carved and uh, rounder. Although uh, probably these letters are hand carved. Uh, it, it seems quite likely that uh, the, these were done by apprentices because it doesn't really matter if the letters come out a little bit wonky. 
Um, you do see some of these where the letters are much less uh, regular than on this, this one. But still, you can see that these are hand-carved. The, the letters are not exactly the same. Anyway, this was a, uh, an interesting playing die from uh, Zoblitz in Germany. Thank you for watching.